What's up, friends? This is Manny, and welcome to a video. Where <laughs> I'm worried. Okay, let's 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 be real here. Um, about the current meta, no, rather the upcoming next meta, ladies and gents. Uh, I'm talking about Ultimate Ion. I'm talking about the Pathfinder that marks enemies for death through walls. Adds an incredible lockdown that comes out of nowhere, um, and uh, and then uh, adds increased damage to you that like you take more damage and then this right whoop down to last and instantly um and and all this so i think i just locked him down uh and he can't even move pop and he takes more damage and he takes damage more damage from all my teammates and then this unstable conduit thing that i have going on that adds a 45 second shield break that is basically all time active ruining in one hit all shield robots at once like what a terrible idea how can you even think to implement something like this and and then oh man i i, I don't know I, I i really don't think this is going to be a particularly uh you know interesting meta uh look this is a uh um what's it called an angler robot and i basically just almost killed him um i just locked him down he's using the shield okay he walks back in cover all right let me just look at this damage that is a full fenrir who basically just instantly died okay i see so you come out every time when i look somewhere else yeah okay now you don't have your face shift and that means you should be gone almost what is damaging me so much okay all right so boop um, but you see where I'm going at, right? With these, with this robot, it's it's really not the best meta. It is going to upset the health of the game quite a bit. And this ultimate ion is just the next thing that comes around that is insane, you know? I, I wonder, where is it gonna stop? Is it ever going to stop? The craziness? Saying there goes an instant kill of a Shen Lu. And I'm passively shield breaking, I believe. Yep. That is the Orpheon. Bye, Orpheon, because my shield break is all-time active. So, how many robots do we have in the game that rely on shield that literally cannot work? They can't function without the shields. These freezing ice rockets that shoot over covers at maximum range and basically deal an incredible amount of damage plus freeze you down and so on. And, and you see, I'm doing more and more damage the longer I play because I'm getting more and more uh, kills. Here, I locked him down per button press, and pop, there he goes. I mean, this meta is going to be terrible. And I just sometimes don't understand, is Pixonic even playing their own game? Do they even know what they're doing to it? Because I already had a real nasty problem with the... I mean, just everything just dies in one hit now. I really had a big problem already with the uh, Newton meta. It, this really was the worst meta I've ever seen. And it, quite honestly, ruined the gameplay for me a lot. That is an invader that I just one-tapped. You think this is fun, Pixonic? Do you think this is going to be something people want to play? Um, I, I, I beg to differ. So this guy here, I think he's coming in because he realized I've killed his robots probably like four times now. And, uh, and he's trying to stop me from doing that. And it's a good idea to do that. But the thing is, I am way more powerful than his Titan is. Even with airstrikes coming in. Okay, and then I can heal up and do all kinds of things. Why are you testing this shield break passive thing? Scratch that, Pixonic. I know you don't like me so much right now, but it doesn't make, make a, any difference that what I say has reason, and ha there's, a, there's a reason to why I'm saying this, right? It, 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 it just makes no sense to kill your game like this. I locked him. During this ability, though, it's not very useful to attack him. However, once he touches the ground and lands, that's when he's vulnerable. Whoop. I got him locked. Let's see if we can kill him in one hit. Ah, no, we can't. All right. It's good, good, good job there. Walking, get back behind cover. He's playing well. And I'm locking him again per button press. Because, of course, this robot can do that. Oh, no, that is bad. Oh! Holy smokes. 
That is like as much firepower as you can have in your bag. A fully loaded Sharenga with triple Cyclone just giving you a nice back massage, man. That is not cool. Oh. So, let's try and get him. But I think, yeah, he's gonna kill me. I caught his attention. That was the mistake. Uh, but, yeah, that was just uh, one robot that we have used. And we single-handedly ruined the game for the enemy team, right? This is just crazy. It is just completely crazy. And we ended up with 400,000 health due to battleship support and, you know, all these things. Do you... I'm asking you you guys, as my community, as my players, as our war, war Robots players. I do realize our channel here, we are... Maybe because you guys are my following and I tend to put critics on uh, where critics is due, we tend to be a bit more critics than maybe uh, on other channels. But um, what do you think? Is this going to be something you want to see? It? Like three out of six robots running this, uh, this new Pathfinder robot. Let's play another round. Um, and basically adding increased damage to your what you take to your robot plus lockdown. Just putt through walls and then insta lasering you down in one hit how are you gonna balance that pixonic i don't think this is going to be a meta that i want to be part of or anybody wants to be part of for that matter even me somebody who is very passionate about the game who likes the game and who wants the game to become a better game and to succeed um i don't want to be in that kind of meta this is not going to be fun and this has to be I mean, obviously, Pixonic needs to be planning ahead when they do things. They can't just uh, do things like on a whim. Uh, and just like, oh, today we feel like adding one hit kill stuff to the game. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'm healing up, waiting for it, and zang. Yep, now that his resistance ends, we should be able to hit him harder. I need to get the kill while the ability is running. What the heck, my teammate, I think, just st stood in front of it and blocked it. He is just tanking it! Dude, that Revenant was tanking all the enemy, all the shots. Holy smokes. He was, like, pretty, completely tanking it. Ah, he's there. We need to finish him off while this ability is ticking, but we can't do it. Three seconds, two seconds, now we can add it to him and kill him and go. Because only if you kill him under the influence of that effect is when you get the bonuses. And But the thing is, all your teammates get these bonuses too. And they, these bonuses last for the entire match. Look, here comes a mender. Pop. Is this fun? It's not fun. It's BS. It's what it is. Here. There's an Orokochi. Let's add this mark and zang, pop. Beyond godlike, because I'm so good. Oh, I'm so good at this game, I just look at enemies and they die. I'm not even shooting him right now, because I want to kill him with the effect active. Okay, let's shoot him once. Then add the effect. And then kill him with this effect. Running, zang. Ooh, wow, okay. A little more tanky than I expected, but he still died under the influence. And so I still get the bonus. There's another tank spider, very nice, okay. Zoop. And look at this, boom, kill. Battleship uh, extender thingy on me. Basically one tapping this guy. And then looking at him, boom, instant kill. I mean, and remember, this on the test right now, I seem to be the only one playing this setup for some reason, which I'm terrorizing the, the test server with. Uh, this is really, you can call it that. I am terrorizing the game with this ridiculous overpowered setup. And thankfully, somehow, I'm the only one using it. Everyone else is like willingly running around as cannon fodder and being completely blasted away per one hit kills. Uh oh, oh, uh, of course, he's got um, the reflector running in that moment. But once that reflector dies, we should be able to hit him pretty hard and lock him down okay there's these homing bullets look I'm battling a luchador and I'm basically successful in killing him he's gonna use his reflector now 
but maybe too late. He's already pretty much gone. Uh, yep, despite Reflector, he died. But I I'm not sure on the test server if the Reflector is even working right. Let's see if we can get him. Locked and zang! That's what people play. Somebody's shooting me from behind. Okay. Ah, oh, it's the freaking turrets. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Lockdown on this open space here is a very bad idea. I locked him, so once once he falls... Ah, uh, he was still able... Despite falling, he was still able to... Um, uh, dash. Uh-oh. Airstrike coming in. I'm counter-healing it. And there's another airstrike here. Jesus. Airstrike alert. So if we had two or three of these robots that I'm running right now, we could just ruin him immediately. Look at the damage he's taking. Uh-oh. Boop, killed him. And that is the one thing that typically ruins everything on the test server. But I am literally just as dangerous. While they're in the air, it doesn't make too much re sense to shoot them. Uh oh, I have to... Oh god. You don't want to have a, a crisis robot in your back. You really don't want to have that. The one thing you do not want to have in your back. Oh, he's there. Oh, you got me. <laughs> and now he walks back in cover. Well played, sir. Something is spawning in from behind. I locked him instantly and pop! One hit kill. This is so insane, man. This is so insane. What can you do about this? So yeah, ladies and gents, I'm sorry to say it, but it doesn't look like the game is getting better anytime soon. Um, although Pixonic is doing quite a few things when it comes to uh, new game modes, like trying to add some spice to it, but if you don't fix the, the, the real problems and issues that we have in the game, then this is just like a little bandage, that it, and it will not fix the problem. So, yeah, guys, you, you have to address the issues we raised in the petition. You cannot ignore that petition. Guys, it, it is, there is a very, very big reason for it, why it came in. And people have legitimately expressed concerns, and those are not just bots that are voting there. Those are your player base who have, who are fed up with a lot of things. And whether you are so sympathetic with me personally now or not, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't change the fact that this is, this is the, what keeps people out of the game. And if you have an interest in keeping your game running and making it run str strong, then uh, yeah, regardless of what you how you feel towards money gaming in particular or ge in general, you gotta follow the wishes of your uh, customers. And th for that reason, we've made this petition, all of us. Even though it seems like uh, uh, this uh, has uh, like it, it looks like it has never happened when you look at other creators, but. Yeah, they were all involved. They were all in the in this together, and we all agreed on the necessity there. So it's a uh, it's weird. It's like Pixonic being the little child that is like by principle refusing to take action or take this seriously because uh, they they don't want this to be a thing, but it is. And this meta, I'm telling you guys, it's going to be bad. I haven't even played this weapon. This is also extremely overpowered. An extremely overpowered weapon. And thankfully, it does have a relatively long reload time. Um, but still, it is a very overpowered weapon. 600 meters range, over cover. Very annoying to deal with. Uh, and it kills you super quick. Um, and these things... Now it doesn't say 60,000 anymore because they express it differently now. Um, now they tell you how much it does per tick, but they don't tell you how many ticks it does per firing. Uh, so it's still the same, I would assume. But yeah. Thought it had to be a video uh, warning you about the future, guys. Um, I don't know uh, what future Warbots has if, if, they, if they're not willing to make changes to the real problems, like releasing broken content, you know, and then nerfing it later. 
and so on. And I don't care if, if, if this is an ultimate item and not everybody will be able to have it. You know that those who really want to be the strongest guys who want to um, have it, the, the ones who will be dominating the match, they will have all of them. They don't care. They just buy it. And this is what they develop the, sh the stuff for, you know. They, that's what they get the stuff developed for. They're not developing it for you as a free-to-play player or for the one who, who drops a casual $10 every month, every now and then on something he likes. You don't matter. It's the guys who will have the full set of ultimate stuff on half their hangar because it's the most broken thing that one taps everyone. That's the ones who matter to Pixonic. The whales, how they call it. I'm gonna make a video soon telling you about... Um, yeah, we're gonna watch the whole conference together. I feel like this is gonna be an interesting video. So, uh, where where people, game companies are getting taught literally how to expose, uh, how to abuse their player bases with stuff like this. It's gonna be interesting. So, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. And Manny signing off. Bye bye, my friends.